you're still watching ways all right today is paper, uh, pepper pot day first created on december 29th 1777 during the revolutionary war um the continental army experienced and an exceptional harsh winter in the valley forge hence the thick spicy soup was made i said they should come to ijebodi <laughs> why ijebodi ah Yoruba people. <laughs> well, they should just come to Yoruba <laughs> land, I said, you know, when I saw the pepper pot, I said, can this pepper be? Can this pepper? But, but I don't can, agree. My dad, my dad, I mean, he's late now. God rest his soul. Um, yeah, he was evil, but he loved pepper. So I don't, it's not no, Yoruba No, of course. Thing. It's not I Yoruba mean, thing. Think, well, and my mom, being the Yoruba woman, was very good. No, you are. You are. In fact, I used to be angry. Like, why, you, why is this so peppery? Let's enjoy the food. No, it's you nice, are. But you can't you are it. helping us to <laughs> put it in perspective. In perspective. You know, there's nobody else linked to Yoruba people <laughs> like okay so my grandfather was mm -hmm. born and bred in Lagos right. you know so my mom as well she speaks impeccable Yoruba mm. so your pepe is, is synonymous <laughs> you know because yeah, I hear that I don't know if it's true but I yeah. hear that when once you give birth you know they yeah but well, they supposed to have that pepe soup. Uh, they they've, no they even put pepe in the baby's salmon. mouth I yeah. think yeah, yeah. to introduce okay. pepe to the baby I don't I know if it's true they do pepe salt and something meaning basically to say oh the world is spicy so mm. be ready for whatever comes your mm. way. Well, we just thought that was fun to, to just mention. Mm. <laughs> All right, so who is starting with the news? What we found in the news? Masa. Masa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, what? let's hit this. Okay, so it was reported that Lagos government demolishes 2,500 2, illegal structures in Lekki. I saw it. Now, this, is as I saw it this was done by the Lagos State um, Environmental and Special um, Offenses Unit. This was, uh, they demolished the 2,500 um, structures oh. which were illegal. And they were shanties, yeah. Yes, they were, they were illegal buildings. What happened to those people? The, the point is that them. they were not supposed to build it I in the it. first place. Fair. And the people, they weren't even doing the, doing things correctly. They were um, smoking pot. And at the same time, I know that place. Anytime we're coming up. to the studio, when we take the back roads, opposite Twin Waters, yeah, I saw exactly. them. And you know what, what struck me? I didn't Which, know they existed, though. Guess I think what? the walls were up, so I yeah, didn't the, even know how. The, we didn't know how large it was. Yes. You know, there was a day Google Map took me through that route, and I saw some guys tolling that road that I had to pay a fee to pass yes. through that road. Really? That's one. Yes, yes that's one. Have that plot, then, guess what? When they were demolishing that road, what what really struck I mean stuck out for me yes. yesterday when I passed through that road was the sanity. There was no like you know because mm, you would not yeah, that usually road, you know usually when there would be fights and all that mm. it was so organized the mm. tax force guys were there what? there were military presence and oh, there was nothing like you know no. fighting or whatever I, this, I thought it was well, it was well done it was, was well organized this was done well done this was agency, done man. this was done by the agency That's to fantastic. prepare. Uh, for the construction of um, a link road for the uh, uh, alternative, alternative route. route. Yeah. Awesome, link, which is fantastic. To to so which would also yes. ease the traffic that we've, we've been facing exactly. now. We are calling on exactly. last month. I mean, like traffic this in, uh, in Lagos has been Lekki. crazy. Especially yes. along this axis. Because, you know, so it's just one that's way going to else. ease the yeah. traffic um, situation around Amen. this axis. That's awesome. Yes, absolutely. That's awesome. Absolutely. I, I really must commend the, the, even the, the, the guys there. You know why I think it was organized? Because I think they saw it. They had it coming. Okay. Maybe that's why there was no fight or whatever. They mm -hmm. were very calm, mm -hmm. even when they were demolishing. So it's, it was okay, good. So there because was no pushback. There, no, there, there was no pushback. There was no resistance. There was no right. resistance. Oh, okay. All right. So, so Nasa, what's Nasa your story? My turn. <laughs> okay, so I got a story from The Punch um, from one of Nollywood's finest actresses, uh, Faithia Williams. I call her Balugu. That's, I think, is that her? Yeah, that was her. That was her maiden. Uh, so that was her no, marital name. A marital. Okay, so, so she's back, to, back her to her maiden name. Oh, right. Okay. So, she's come out to declare that she no longer believes in new year resolutions and oh. her reason is that you know people never really follow through we come up with these plans and nothing ever happens and so what she does now is to have a plan for every day and that has worked for her thus far that and this totally to resonates with me vision. because a lot of us yes and it links to what we're talking about today which awesome. is you know yeah. having an overarching vision and also you know setting those daily goals or whatever what have you so mm -hmm. i totally agree with miss miss Fafia, Fafia, faith here faith here yeah. and um it's something that I, I agree with as well you know Every day should count, you know, exactly. have a goal, be, be intentional, be strategic and all of that. So. There is a saying that says, um, 
if this was the last day you were going to live on earth yeah. what would you what would you do yep you know so I think that's a that's very the, good the way to, to start the, you know I yeah. personally that's why today for us you know the topic is very apt because you know like we said earlier when it's New Year, everybody wants to do New Year resolutions, you know, everybody just That don't wants last to, more know. than the first day, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> you might not even get up to that. <laughs> Maybe like six hours. I know. You know, my story is quite similar. Right. Um, um, he's also in the limelight, you know, what's mm -hmm. his name? He's popularly known as Reminis. Yeah, um, Reminis. Olajide Samuel. But he's also called Remileku Safaru. Is that, is that where Which Remini, one is, is that where Reminis comes from? Remileku? Ah, my God. Let's take the Reminis. <laughs> you know, well, let's just stick to Reminis. Reminis yes. Yes. Yeah. So he, he, is, he has come out, you know, um, to, he has, he said that he's had a lot of challenges before, before he rose into prominence. Okay. And, you know, he was explaining that, you know, I mean, while he was growing up, his dad used to say that, you know, you must have a degree, you know, to be able to be anything in life. And, you know, he struggled with, he struggled a lot because at that point, you know, he met, um, what's his name, Idi Kabasa, and Idi Kabasa introduced him to Nice, to G Dog, who is now Olamide. When I heard G Dog, I said, that was his name. I said, he, he's so lucky that Olamide he that is name. perfect now. <laughs> you know, wow. You know, but he, he, he made something very, very, you know, very salient point, he said. Yes. You know, that his father advised him immediately he hit his first um, major breakthrough that invest because he, he had his daughter quite early. Okay. Invest, you know, something set aside funds to be able to take care of your child, mm -hmm. and which was what he did. And not only that, that there's this pressure that comes uh, on entertainers that you want to keep up, you know, you want to be able Keeping to, up appearances. you know, appearances and all of that. Oh, yeah. And by the time you spend so you much money, you have that they don't spend money on, on expensive attires because by the time you take one picture, two picture, you're you done with that attire. You can't mm -hmm. wear that attire anymore. So he would advise um, people wear things that you can afford, you know. So I think for me, I was like, whoa, okay. Well, why do you believe in that? Definitely. Where if I wear one thing because I'm in the limelight, I know, I know people will talk. But does he? Really, I mean, look at the um, what's her name, Duchess of is it York? Uh, Prince William's wife. So yeah. she okay. repeats her outfits and all. And I don't, I don't think there's a problem. I don't think there's, there's anything really wrong with that. There's really no hard and fast rule to that, you know. But really? the truth is that I, I think that pressure, honestly, it left, exists. I agree. It does exist, but I, it is left for you, you to decide that person, you want to what's either value, what are your values? Yes. accept it, accept or it, or not. you want, yeah, you know. So it's, you know, and I'm happy that we're talking about. About, um, we're talking about all of these things because it is also this particular um, uh, article from Reminis mm. is going to tie into the financial part of what yes. we're talking about exactly. today. How? You know how to be strategic with your finances. finances. You know exactly. because you should actually invest your money. Because what you were saying is that invest in personal development. Invest your money in a way that your money will come back Tangible. to you and, and work for you. On, yeah, and work for you Absolutely. instead of investing some, in something that you you won't it won't come back for you. Yeah. Yeah. And the same like, you know? yeah. So I'm so I'm so I'm so I'm happy about you know that he's coming out. I, I didn't know that he, ha he was you know. This is intelligent. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 not even intelligent. More like he he had this kind of a vision. Good head. On yeah, the show, good right? head. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you need yeah. to listen to this kind of people Very to understand true. that because you think it's all about the entertainment. Yeah, and it's beyond the bling bling and bling all of that. Exactly. Right, I get yeah, you. and okay. more yeah. young people should listen to listen him. To him. Exactly. Yeah, beyond exactly. the bling life. Exactly. All right, so today. We'll have um, Adenike Ajayi. She will join us after the break. Please stay with us.